Hey everyone, Andy from Single Track Magazine on this glorious day with another stunning new bike. This is the Orange 5 Evo from Orange in Halifax, made in the UK. Now, what makes this different to the standard five is, well, the name Evo and the travel and the geometry. First up, the 5 Evo is a part of a two-part range. There's the Stage Evo and the 5 Evo. Obviously, the 5 Evo is a 27.5-inch wheel bike, and the Stage Evo is a 29-inch wheel bike. There are differences in frame geometry and travel. So the 27.5-inch bike, which I have here and I've been testing, has 140 mil travel on the front and 130 mil on the rear. The Stage Evo is 130 on the front and 120 on the rear, but those 29-inch wheels should help it move along over obstacles really easily. Now I've been riding this bike and it's a size large and as you can see it's really long, it's very low. Size large reach is 485 millimeters. It sounds huge but it's actually five millimeters shorter in effective top tube length compared to the traditional five. Because Orange have brought the seat tube up and made it steeper, it's 76 degrees on this bike, the actual effective top tube length is 635 millimeters compared to 640 on the regular five. So if you're looking at the geometry of this bike and you think, that's gonna be way too big for me, think again, get on one and have a feel because you might be surprised. Along with the 76 degree seat tube angle, we've got a 64 degree head tube angle, and that means it's really nicely raked out. And with the shorter offset forks, you're not pushing the front wheel too far out into corners uh, when you're heading into really twisty stuff. Speaking about twisty stuff, even though it's long, with these small wheels, it really whips around corners really nicely, and the short travel is super progressive for hopping and popping over things. Now, my regular bike is a full-on enduro bike with 29-inch wheels, 170 mil travel on the front, and 160 mil travel on the rear. Now, did the shorter travel of the Orange slow me down? No, I don't think it did. Even though it's a much shorter travel bike, that really progressive geometry gives you so much confidence to hit the terrain just as fast as you would on a big wheeled bike. And because it has those smaller wheels, it tends to accelerate a little bit quicker, it whips out of corners quicker, and it's just a little bit more playful than a 29er, in my opinion anyway. Now this is a limited edition version of the bike, and that's what Orange are doing with the launch of the new Evos. There's an LE spec for both bikes, so it's got a load of really nice components from Hope, from Bergtech and also from Shimano. So this LE spec bike comes in this really nice sparks blue color. It's a limited edition color. It's actually a 2021 color option for orange frames. Up front, we've got the brand new Bergtech Mark III, I almost said two, Mark III Enduro stem. It's a 35 mil long stem with a 35 millimeter diameter bar clamp for those ride wide bars. Also from Bergtech, attached to those bars are a set of Hope uh, Pro Evo 4 brakes, grips a strange lock-on grip with a single lock-on, so super comfortable front end. Handling the 140mm travel is a RockShox Pike Ultimate Fork. And what can I say that hasn't already been said about that fork? It is an amazing fork. And with the new debonair spring, it sits a little bit higher. Wheels are E13 TRS rims, 30mm wide with a Hope Pro 4 hub, front and rear. So you're getting some really nice kit on this bike. RockShox also provides the rear shock. Now this is a super deluxe on the rear now with a piggyback and a lockout. Now for my time on the bike, I've been riding a different shock simply because this shock wasn't available. So I will need to try it with this new shock on it to see if it's changed anything. If anything, I only imagine the rear end is even better than it was before and it was already pretty good. Gearing is Shimano XT 1x12, a 1051 cassette on the rear, but the chain set is a Hope chain set. So really nice stuff. Hope also provides the headset, the seat post clamp as well. The dropper post on this is a 150 mil Telus dropper and it has a Orange Strange, it's an SDG branded Orange Strange saddle. Now, 150 mil travel isn't really enough for me. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit of a seat post sticking out there and I much prefer a longer seat post so I could slam the seat down into the frame because this is such a playful bike, especially in twisty, steep stuff over jumps and everything. I want to get that seat really out of the way. And uh, yeah, it would be nice to have a slightly longer dropper post. Going into the review, I thought of the stay, the 5 Evo, sorry, as kind of a new and updated version of the Orange 4. 
And actually, there are some similarities. As just as with the Orange 4, the new 5 Evo has this open rear triangle on here rather than the traditional beam rear triangle. Now, this is something that Orange have done purposely because the geometry of this bike and the fact that it's such an aggressive machine, Orange understand that people are going to really slap this bike hard. And they found that the open rear triangle, the split rear triangle on, of the 6 and the 4 is a torsionally stiffer than the regular boomerang style one that we find on a 5. So um, Orange fans are going to be a bit surprised to find the first 5 ever with an open rear triangle. But that really helps when you're firing into berms and out of berms as well. Now riding this bike, I took it out on a, a variety of different terrains. Obviously my first port of call was the local downhill tracks and I was really surprised. Obviously, because it's a shorter travel bike, it sprints into the terrain much, much quicker. So I was able to carry a lot more speed into my local descent. But then once in there, although there's, it's a more um, responsive feel, you could, it's a more engaging feel. You can feel the terrain under you. It's not uncomfortable. Of course, shorter travel means you're gonna to have to absorb more of the impact through your arms and through your legs. But overall, the, the quality of the suspension on this bike does a remarkable job of taking the sting out of things, even when you're hitting really hard rock uh, gardens at full pelt. So my first attempt to my local uh, downhill ended in a crash, unfortunately, but I'm pretty sure if I'd managed to stay on the bike, I would have beaten my time, but I suppose I should go up there now while it's still dry and give it a go again. Also in my time with this bike, I've taken it on a, a classic cross country ride. It's not usually the kind of ride that I want to go on, but because the 5 Evo is such a, a well-rounded bike and it's a short travel bike, you can really use it for pretty much everything. So I figured let's go on a classic cross country ride too. And again, remarkably, it was very, very good. Despite the slack front end, despite the aggressive angles, that really comfortable seat position means climbing up rocky uh, climbs is very, very uh, efficient, very, very comfortable. And yes, you can take this bike on epic cross-country rides if you, if you want. But in my opinion, it's more fun to take it around Warncliffe and slap some loamy berms. And that's what I did yesterday for a photo shoot. And yeah, Overall, it's a pretty amazing bike. It can do everything. Long, long cross-country uh, rides, uh, casual strolls around the park or whatever, smacking the dirt jumps, slapping downhills. It is a true mountain bike. A short travel one, but a true mountain bike. Very, very exciting bike. Very, I really like it. I hope I can keep hold of it for a bit longer. If you've liked this review of the Orange 5 Evo, please remember to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you get more notifications once we publish more mountain bike reviews. Thanks for your time. See you all soon. I'm going to ride while it's still sunny. Bye.